Hey guys, Tyler2k here, and today we're going to take a look at the Brian Fury trailer. First things first, Tekken 8 is an unreleased product, so everything shown can and might change by final release date. But before getting to the new stuff, let's talk about Taunt. Brian's Taunt is an unblockable attack, where if the full animation completes, is launch punishable. Although the Taunt can be cancelled at any time before that, now if you cancel the Taunt during the middle of the animation, right as his knee hits the opponent, it will give you a clean plus 16 frames. That means you have a 6 frame window to hit a 10 frame attack, or a 1 frame window to hit a 16 frame attack. Although, if you let the taunt fully charge, you gain access to two specially charged attacks. And unlike the cancelable taunt, you cannot cancel the full charge until the animation completes. We start with a Brian down forward 2-1 that can now transition into Sway, where Brian performs a brand new Sway 1, a high attack that deals chip damage as signified by the red flames on Jack. Brian then interrupts with a 4-2-1-4 that leads to Taunt, giving him access to his charged up abilities. And notice the red flames around his arms, signifying this. Sidestep 1 is no longer a natural hit launcher, and Brian follows up with what I believe to be a new up forward 4 that looks and is mechanically identical to Bruce's up forward 3. This jumping knee also leads to Taunt, where Brian then gains his charge. He then sidesteps Jack Wake Up 4, where he performs a charged 4 to 1, 2, 3, ending with Mock Breaker 2. Brian Launch punishes Jack down forward 2 with a jet upper into a forward 1 plus 2 that's now a power crush. He then follows up with a 1 jab into a new back to 1 4 animation spin. Brian then finishes the combo with a new Crouch Dash 2 2, spiking Jack into the floor. Now there's a lot to break down here, so let's do this in super slow mo. First and foremost, we see the red flames around his arms, so he's in taunt stance. Brian then performs a CD 1 plus 2, which is both a heat engager and deals chip damage against Jack. That's because the wall bounce mechanic is gone in Tekken 8, so they had to make adjustments. Brian then armors through Jack's kick by spending the taunt meter, and now his mock breaker has a blue spark instead of a red flame as seen later. This causes a hazard zone effect, where Brian does a 3 3 2 now a spin option, and causing high splat, where Brian could perform a power splat line for a lot of damage. Brian then finishes the combo with an up forward 3 in what appears to be a new down back 2 series, ending with a 3 knee. Brian hits a counter hit back 1 that has a brand new flipping animation stun. He then follows up with a down 3 plus 4 2, causing spin, where Brian pops his heat burst, spiking Paul into the floor, ending the combo with a 3 3 4 kick away. Brian evades incoming with a new sidestep 2-1, a heat engager. He then is allowed to perform a full 28 frame taunt into a 16 frame heat smash. Now whether Brian's heat smash automatically performs a taunt is yet to be seen, but I'm inclined to believe that it doesn't. Brian does taunt into down back 1 plus 2, now a heat engager, where he clips Paul with a 3 plus 4, but it doesn't cause knockdown, instead has a follow up in heat mode that appears to be a guard breaker splatting Paul to the wall. Brian then follows up with a jet upper, now a spin mid combo, ending with a down forward 2 1 into sway 4, granting flip over Oki. Mock breaker can be heat dash cancelled, allowing for full launch. Brian then follows up with a back 3 into a new CD 2 4, causing spin. He then finishes up with a crouch dash 3 4 into a 4 4 2, which is actually a heat smash, using the rest of his heat. Beyond just a plus frame on block, chip damaging high, Sway 1 is also a counter hit launcher, causing instant spin. Brian then pops Rage Art, a Fisherman Slam launching mid-air machine gun punch volley, knocking Paul to the floor where he follows up with a supercharged mock punch, 